Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's your boy, Lock Home Man, and today I'm back with a brand new video, man. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling y'all who's the best type of fighters to use. Like, each type of uh, mixed martial art artist to use in, in, uh, in the lightweight division. Today, I'm going to just do the lightweight division. I'm going to give y'all multiple... I'm going to give y'all every division with, uh, like, the best type of fighter to use in every category in mixed martial arts. So... Uh, but this is just for lightweight. This video in particular just gonna be for lightweight division. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna give y'all the other division another day. All right. So let's go into the play now real quick. We're gonna go to the practice menu real quick. I just wanna break down and show y'all all the types of mixed martial artists inside the lightweight division. The best fighters to use in this division from each martial art. So we're gonna start off from the boxing. Of course, we already know who the best boxer in the lightweight division is, bro. And you got it's got it's Dustin Poirier. Like, it ain't no questions. It, you cannot question this dude's ability as a boxer. Like, that's who he is. He's a good boxer, bro. A good boxer. And, uh, yeah, look, just look at all the perks that he got. As you can see, he got recharger. Recovers more health between rounds. Laser focus is a boxing predominant uh, perk. You know what I'm saying? Straight, straight and Superman and spinning punches are more faster and accurate. He got fast hands. That is the best perk to have as a boxer, bro. He got fast hands, weather storms, and he got predator. All boxing, you know what I'm saying? When they orange, they striking. They pure striking. But these right here that he got in particular, these is boxing perks. And this is who you want to play with as a boxer. This is the best boxer in the lightweight division. <laughs> now, moving on to the speed, punch power, and all that type of stuff. 96 punch speed, bro. 96 punch speed, 95 punch power, and uh, yeah, look at his blocking. Blocking matters when it comes to boxing. Yo, accuracy matters. He has a 97 accuracy, 94 block, 95 head movement, and a 96 footwork. Another thing that matters when you boxing, bro, is your switch stance. On the game, the, the, the controls is going to switch depending on which stance you win. I think... <clears throat> If I'm not mistaken, Dustin Poirier is a southpaw. So if you switch to orthodox, his switch stands, all his combinations is still going to be the same power. A lot of people don't know that. If you switch stands with people who don't have good switch stands, yo, 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 like your yo punches and stuff is not going to be the same as your yo main stand. You feel me? So yeah, DP, he's the best boxer in the lightweight division. Now we're just talking about boxing, bro. We're not talking about no other. No other uh, <clears throat> mixed martial arts. Right now, we just talking about strictly boxing. He got good boxing combinations. Going to practice mode, learn some good boxing combinations, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, he got a four-star jab, a four-star lead over him. The Duke, bro, he's a legit boxer, bro. So I'm gonna just give you out the two, the top two, like the top two best, you know what I'm saying? From every uh, mixed martial arts. So now we unboxing. We're going to move on to the number two person in the lightweight division. And that guy is named Max Holloway. Max Holloway, he's the second best boxer. As you can see, the orange, he got out. He got the uh, boxing perks. Pay to miss. If you, if you, you know what I'm saying? If you're good with the, with the head movement and stuff, you can check stuff real good with him. You know what I'm saying? He's good with the boxing. Go over to the punch, the punch speed and power and stuff like that. Now, his punch power is not the best. He's more of a volume guy. You know what I'm saying? He good with the jab and stuff like that. He, he's the volume. He gonna throw volume strikes. He wanted to take the fight to the to the decision. He one of those type of fighters. So, and you can work the body with him. He that type of fighter. 95 punch speed. Uh, 84 punch power. That, that sucks, but with the speed, you can't go wrong. And then he got a 98 switch stance. So, you can't go wrong with that. 96 is, uh, accuracy. 92 blocking head moving in the 92 foot 95 <clears throat> good cardio 99 cardio bro 99 cardio he got a five five star jab five star boxing combinations that's how you know he legit whenever they got four star or five star boxing combinations as they top moves that's how you know they're a boxer he got a five star straight so you can jab straight you know what i'm saying jab straight and yeah, that's the, them the two, the top two best lightweight boxers right now. You know what I'm saying? That you can play with on UFC 5. All right, so the next 
thing, the next mixed martial arts that we're going to be moving on to is my favorite, my personal favorite, bro, and that's Muay Thai. I love Muay Thai. That's my favorite mixed martial arts. The top two best mixed martial artists inside the lightweight division is obviously, bro, Rafael Fazil. He's the best inside the division. There's not many, there's not many Muay Thai fighters. Now, there's, there's kickboxer, kickboxers, but there ain't a lot of Muay Thai fighters inside the lightweight division. And let, let bro, it's a difference. Listen, Taekwondo, kickboxing, and Muay Thai is three different sports. It all got to do with kicking and stuff like that. But it's three different mixed martial arts, bro. You feel me? So this boy is a this Rafael Fazil is a goat, bro. When it comes to uh, Muay Thai, professional. All right, we we're gonna go to his perks. As you can see, he got some good boxing, and he got steel checks. As that's a kick in. Like if you check somebody kick, they 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 gonna get their legs hurt trying to kick your your leg. You know what I'm saying? So that's a good Muay Thai type thing to check kicks so yeah crazy legs round house and round house and switch kicks are more faster and accurate that's what you want you want to be able to throw your spinning attacks and all that type of stuff moving on to the stand-up as you can see 90 bro a 95 kick power as a lightweight it's devious bro 95 kick power 97 kick speed we're not even gonna look at his punch punches because that don't really, you know what I'm saying? We're talking about Muay Thai, right? This got to do more so with, with, with kicks. But it, you you do punch and throw elbows in, in Muay Thai, but we're gonna go based off kicks right here. Switch stance 92, you need that. You need good footwork in order to be a good Muay Thai striker. Um, yeah, I mean, he's good, bro. He's all around good. And as you can see, look. He got a five star in kickboxing, and he's a five star in uh, Muay Thai. He's a Muay Thai striker, bro. He come from a Muay Thai background, so yeah, he's the best Muay Thai. Uh, and when I'm using Rafael Fazil, if you're using any type of Muay Thai specialist in UFC five or UFC four, whatever the case may be, use your elbows, bro. Especially your rear. Throw that elbow, bro. Throw it. Don't be don't be scared to throw it. Don't say you know what I'm saying because it's not toxic. Throw it every now and then, bro. Don't don't abuse it. Just throw it every now and then. A little elbow, a little check elbow. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> every now and then. He got a five star lead switch kick <clears throat> to the body. He got a uh, four star body roundhouse. So that's gonna be LT and B. Yeah, man, it's the best. Just the best Muay Thai striker, bro. If you want to learn Muay Thai strikes, Muay Thai combinations, go to the practice mode. I got a video that I just dropped like some days ago. <clears throat> I'm showing y'all how to get to the practice thing. So. Go ahead and get you some practice in. Now, the number two best, then this is my one of my favorite fighters, bro. He probably like top three of my favorite fighters all time in MMA. I gotta go with my boy Paul Felder, bro. He's my, he's my, he gotta be, yeah, come on, like, you gotta put Paul Felder. This is another Muay Thai GOAT. You know what I'm saying? Now, he's not the best, bro. He's not the best in terms of speed. He's not too quick on his feet. He's a slow, slow, slow mover on the game and he's light on the front leg that's that's how you know when you you mess with a muay thai striker when they light on the front leg they don't have a lot of weight like they're not leaned over like a boxer they light on the front leg he's not the fastest but he's still good bro if you use that that uh that leg kick the the, the rear leg kick and the, uh the lead <clears throat> man use it the right way with your teeth kicks you're gonna you're gonna be successful with him and use your elbow because like Paul Ferdinand has a four star lead elbow. You know what I'm saying? Or oh, that's that's a rear. Oh my bad. That's a rear. He has a four star lead, uh, four star elbow. Throw them elbows from time to time, bro. Check. Throw the elbow. You know what I'm saying? Do, throw the elbow. <clears throat> number two. He's the number two in the lightweight division. Now we're gonna move on down to kickboxing. It's a different uh um, sport, bro. It's a different sport. More time kickboxing is different. Now we're going to kickboxing, like I said. <clears throat> we're not going to spend too much time in kickboxing. Of course, you want to put Edson Barboza. He's one of the best kickboxers in this game. As a whole, Edson Barboza, as you can see, 97 kick power, 99 kick speed. He got a 90 switch stance, but that's still pretty good compared to everybody else in the game. You know what I'm saying? So you want to use that to your advantage. Switch stance with, with Edson Barboza when you kickboxing. <clears throat> Let me see. 
everything else really don't matter when it comes to just striking. You know what I'm saying? As you get, look, five star lead, uh, a five star body roundhouse, five star leg kick, five star calf kick. That's what you want to use the calf kicks. Use your calf kicks, bro. Use your calf kicks. He got a five star in everything. Five star, five star, five star. Go learn some kick kickboxing moves with Edson Barboza. He's the best kickboxer if you like kickboxing. You know what I'm saying? The second, number two, best kickboxer in the lightweight division is my boy Showtime. Anthony Pettis. 94 kick power, 97. And he got a 96 switch stance, bro. Come on, bro. And he got all the traditional combos, kickboxing combos. He got some of the top. Like, he got the best combos when it comes to kickboxing. I'm telling you, bro. So, yeah. Look, like I tell you, five star. Five star traditional. He got all the Showtime kicks, all the question mark kicks, axe kicks, everything. Go use my butt AP, bro. He good <clears throat> with the kickboxing. Moving on to wrestling, I don't think... I don't think we even got to spend too much time. You know what I'm saying? Trying to figure out who the best wrestler. I'm finna just go on name him real quick. Islam Bakachev. He's the best wrestler inside the lightweight division. Pick him every time. You cannot go wrong. Like, you can't go wrong with Islam. He, get, he good on the top control, bottom control. He got good submission defense and offense. Good ground striking. Everything is 95 and up. Well, not 95 and up. 92 and up. And that's good, bro. That's good. <clears throat> you feel me? So, use him. Cardio. That kind of matters when you find on the ground and stuff like that. He got a 96 cardio. That's good, bro. That is good. Arm triangle. All jujitsu. He got wrestling transition sweeps and reversals. All of them is five stars. So, when you plan in the lightweight division and need a wrestler, this is who you want to pick. Moving on to the number two is Khabib. Don't pick Khabib. I'm sorry. He's the, the second best wrestler, but don't, don't pick Khabib, bro. He's way too slow. His striking is terrible. But if we just talking about just grappling, then go and pick Khabib. He's just too slow on the feet, bro. His movement is too slow. He don't have enough. Like, he's just not too, he's just not the best. You know what I'm saying? So if you want to grapple and you're a Khabib fan, then go and pick Khabib because he's the number two behind Islam. Moving on down to BJJ. Jiu-Jitsu. When it comes to Jiu-Jitsu in the lightweight division, some of the best Jiu-Jitsu inside the game, period, bro. Tell me, inside the UFC, period. Every time it comes down, bro, like legendary uh, Jim Miller, bro. Good Jiu-Jitsu, bro. Even Dusty Poirier, good Jiu-Jitsu. Uh, Armand Tarukian, good Jiu-Jitsu. Charles Oliveira, good Jiu-Jitsu. But the number one jiu-jitsu artist in the division is Charles Oliveira. Number two, you got to go Benil Darush. He's the second best submission artist inside this game. But look at the submission. Offense, he got a 93. Bottom control, 92. Top control, 95. So he got all type of submissions in every in every position you get in on the ground. He got a, he got a submission for every last one. He's a good pick. Charles Oliveira number one, Benin Darush number two for jiu-jitsu. All right. Now, the final, the final. These is the best all around, the most all around mixed martial artists in the lightweight division. If you ever run into a high level player on this game, or if you, if you, even if you just look into master a certain character, character, you know what I'm saying? These is the best all-around uh, characters in the lightweight division. You want to pick Charles. He's the best. He got good stand-up. As you can see, he at the top left of the screen, he got a four and a half star of stand-up. Good stand-up. Good kickboxing. Good punches. Uh, decent uh, switch stance. It's not the best, but it's still pretty good. Stand-up is a four and a half. Grappling is a five star. You can't go wrong with Charles Oliveira, and he has rubber guard. Whenever you get in trouble, go rubber guard, bro. I'm telling you. Good health stacks. Look at him. The only thing that he bad at is his body. His body is the lowest one at a 90. At a 91. But that's still not... Bro, look. <clears throat> a 91 compared to... Let me see. A 88, bro. Anthony Pettis has an 88 compared to a 91. You know what I'm saying? So that, that's a huge gap. 
Charles Oliveira is the best, the best pick when it comes to being all around and lightweight division. So whenever you, I, I would, I would. I'm telling everybody, bro. If you want to master anybody inside the lightweight division, let it be Charles Oliveira because he's good everywhere. Number two, the more, the most second mixed martial artist in the lightweight division is Islam Makhachev. Like I was just saying with uh Charles Oliveira. Four and a half star striking on the stand up, and he a five star with the grappling. That's always a bonus. I don't care. Like, bro, you got to be an all-around Miss Martial Artist. You got to be good at boxing, decent at kicks, and you got to have ground game. But the two that really matters is wrestling and boxing. You know what I'm saying? As long as you got those two, you're good. You know what I'm saying? So, look at all the health stats. He have a four and a half star with the health stats. His lowest one is the knee. It's the, uh, I was going to say the knees, but the legs. Don't get kicked, bro. Do not go. Bro, do not get kicked, bro. Be holding low block the whole time. Bro, I'm telling you, because you don't want to lose your legs. But yeah, man, them them the um the two most best all around in the lightweight division. I just gave y'all people from the boxing, Muay Thai, kickboxing, wrestling, to jujitsu, and I gave you the best all around fighters in the lightweight division. Drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notification bell. If you like the country that I post. I will be uploading more videos in the future. I am a full-time UFC content creator at this point. But yeah, man, that's all for today's video, man. If you're new to the channel, like I said at the beginning, subscribe to the channel if you don't mind, please. I will much, much appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? I need some new subscribers on this channel, especially from the UFC side, because a lot of my uh, subscribers come from 2K, and I do not play that game anymore. So. I would appreciate it if you do subscribe to the channel and drop a like. I'll catch y'all boys in another video. Uh, peace out.